two, one. In the hot seat on Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. I have the one and only Mr. Steve Cropper. You know him from Otis Redding, from Booker T and the MGs, the Blues Brothers. He has a new album out, and uh, I'll put the links down below. It's called Friendly Town, and the first single that's out, it's Too Much Stress, featuring Queen's Brian May. So make sure you check that out. I'll put the links right above here, or they'll be in the links down below. Now here's my conversation with Mr. Steve Cropper. Play it, Steve. Touch that dial. Bam. Hey, I got to tell you something. Another movie which you yeah. did with a, a band that was almost like a make-believe band, but the guy sang incredible was the Blues Brothers, John Belushi. Oh, man. Play it, Steve. The soul man. I mean, he had a lot well, of soul in his voice. When that movie came out, they gave the, the journalist and all, it was, Gave Duncan and I a bunch of trouble on. They said, what do you got to do working with this group? two comedians up in New York? That was when Saturday Night Live was pretty much at its peak. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said, they're not, you know, they're, they may be comedians by, by trade by now, but what you don't know, it probably was a John Belushi. Before Second City, he used to front a band playing drums and singing. No. I said, yes, he did. And, and Dan Erko was playing every note of the harp on that harp because he knows the harmonic and knows the blues too. They couldn't believe it. Said, so you might as well believe it. I guess so. If it wasn't real, it would be a, be a hit today. But it is. I, I, I mean, it stands the test of time like everything else does. Wow. Absolutely. It stands. It's a, cl it's a classic. It really is a classic. <laughs> and, and John, he sang just as good as the, 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 the original artist. He went to toe to toe for People who consider him just a comedian, but he was more than that. He was everything. He was one of the nicest guys I ever met. Was he? And was... I met a lot of people. I got to tell you, my age, I met a lot of people. Blues and something else. I knew Elvis Sue back in the Elvis days. Wow. But uh, he, John, was one of his biggest tricks. He'd give away stuff that I've before. He'd give away cars, houses, all that. So his, uh, Bernie Brillstein told us, told Duck and I one time, we're sitting in Bernie's office. He said, I spent more time trying to keep up with John. He's given, given away the night before, what he's given away the night before, trying to keep up with that, that I do manage either one of them. He was managing John and uh, I think Danny too at one time. <laughs> So, he's so, not with us anymore. Bernie was just, what a great guy he was. He was, a, yeah. Oh, he was, he great. But I will tell you this about Belushi. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask, but I will tell you anyway. He never refused a fan an autograph, ever. He He'd take time out of his schedule. If it was one person or 25 people, it didn't matter, or 100 people. He'd just stay there until he got everybody got an autograph. Everybody was happy. He'd send them on their way. Okay, you're out of here, guys. Bye. They'd leave after they got their autograph. Everything was fine. <laughs> so he he had he just loved his fans. He just you know was down yeah. with them. That's cool. That's cool to hear, man. I mean, the Blues Brothers. Well, are, being around guys that are that are great uh, that are known to be great. Yeah, it's fun. It, it is. You watch people run across the front of cars, over cars, mm -hmm. and everything else. Try to get next to them. I said, I never want to be like that. I don't want to be that kind of person. I may make it tonight, but I don't want to be that big because to have fans. Trying to get to you, all that? Nah, that's not me. <laughs> no, now, no, hey, Steve. Now, did you, the Blues Brothers. Did you guys go on a long tour? Or you just did one-offs, you guys. Well, we did that one tour. I don't think we ever did a long tour, but I can remember almost. It was so short. I remember almost every city we played. What was what was the 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 wildest, the funniest memory you have of being in the Blues Brothers? If you could pick one, of the Blues Brothers. Yeah. Probably one of the last gigs was the one in Dallas, Texas. There was a girl on about the fourth or fifth row was on a guy's shoulders, took her top off. <laughs> <laughs> For John. I don't even think John saw it. I did. Doug did, too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I remember. I don't <laughs> that's a great memory. That's a, I get. No, I, I get, do, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell it to your fans. I'm not gonna tell it to you or your fans. I'm gonna tell you pri pri privately. You could tell me. No, okay. I get. I totally get it. <laughs> That was Mr. Steve Crop. If you want to check out Friendly Town, links will be in our description down below. In the meantime, make sure you post your comments down below. Give us a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to our channel. And 
As always, you can catch this episode on our Members Only Club unedited. In the meantime, I am Stefan. You are beautiful. We love you, baby. We do. We'll catch you all later.